You guys know how hard it is to get VC in WWE 2K18. Match after match with no big payoff. So if this is the problem that you are facing, make sure to check out the link in the description for cheap, fast and reliable virtual currency services. Use the coupon code the Great One to get 5% off. What is going on good people at the Great Ones channel and many of you know that this could be the last episode of WWE 2K18 career mode the Anderson Wolf's journey. This could be the last episode and uh, so have I decided it? I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I mean I've updated the attire of Anderson Wolf, the attire looks so much better. So I don't know, make sure to watch this whole episode and at the end of it I'm going to make my decision whether I'm going to enjoy making this video or not. I'm not sure. I think the notification thing was was the thing that made me really angry. I guess, you know, I thought that people don't give a shit about this series, but then it turns out that the notifications were broken. I contacted YouTube. YouTube said that the notifications are broken, and they fixed it. Maybe I can take credit for it, but uh, I probably can't. How are you holding up on this road trip? We just finalized the match card. Take a look. Okay, Anderson Wolf is going to take a look at that match card. Six man match with Lou Gallows and Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. That's the most fucking random match I've ever seen in my entire life. Here's the thing six man matches, they are laggy as fuck. They lag so, so much. So if it's going to lag, I'm going to skip it and we're going to move forward. So this is my new attire. I really wanted to show you guys my new attire, the new t-shirt, new pants and shit. I think it looks pretty dope. I think the red thing works. I like the t-shirt's color to be skin tone. I do think it looks pretty nice. I got the beard. I look much more of a main adventure actually. I'll fuck him. You know what guys? I want to show my frustration on being in the WWE. This is the storyline that we are playing. Real life situation with this career mode and in this game. You can actually see Anderson Wolf just walking away. And here comes the loading screens again. I love these. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna take a piss. I'm gonna do some 5 double shuffle. It's taking a long ass time, dude. Anderson Wolf just walked out of his match. He has no Fs given. He wants the opportunities that he was... He was promised by Vince McMahon, his father, his dad. Vince McMahon called me son, you know? That's not something you take for granted. He called me son and look, Anderson Wolf just get having no Fs given, walking out of the arena and maybe, just maybe this is the last that we see of Anderson Wolf. Okay, it's time for the WWE Universe to see one more match from Anderson Wolf. Let's hope the creative team has something better for us than a fucking six-man match. The most random bullshit I've ever seen. One of the rival, rival dudes with Brock Lesnar. I'm teaming with Roman Reigns as the biggest fucking heel. What was that? I have no idea. Let, let, let me let me get it out. Let me get it. Let me get the F into the arena and show what I'm all about in this ring. Are, how are you holding on this road trip? For fuck's sake, it's going to be another random match for Anderson Wolf. Okay, let's let's bring him. Let, let's bury that motherfucker that we're facing. Okay, it's Seth Rollins. I take my words back. I'm really really sorry. There is going to be a few surprises though during this episode, so this Monday Night Raw that you are watching is not going to be as random. Me versus Seth Rollins. However. There's going to be something else. Anderson Wolf, Seth Rollins, and you know the history between those two guys. Anderson Wolf actually attacked Seth Rollins in his first first appearance on the main roster. And look at those pants. It says Wolf on it. <laughs> it has a wolf on the ass, on the ass cheeks. It looks amazing. And this is Seth Rollins versus Anderson Wolf. And here's the storyline that is going on. Anderson Wolf, not kind of storyline. This is this is a real thing. This is a real thing that's going on in Anderson Wolf's mind. He's not happy in his position in this company. He's not happy about it at all. He was promised all of these nice things by Vince McMahon, by all the ass kissers in the company. But all he's doing right now is facing guys in random matches. A six man matches, Seth Rollins with no build, with no nothing whatsoever. He's getting nothing. He, he, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time since I'm going to drop a fucking pipe bomb. Whether it's going to be in a style of fists or in a style of CM Punk, 
who knows? Anderson Wolf is not happy. He's actually thinking about the retirement. So after this episode, we are actually going to find out whether he's actually retiring from, from pro wrestling or he is going to kick the shit out of every motherfucker in his way and gain all of the momentum that he actually needs to become the new WWE champion of the world. Okay, one, two, three, four, and into Seth Rollins. Seems like Anderson Wolf is dominant during this whole match. Seems like he's beaten the crap out of <laughs> Seth Rollins. Okay, and uh, bam, I love the pants, man. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about his attire? I honestly love it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually says Wolf on, Wolf's on the side. Wolf, you know, that that's my name. And, oh, tries to get him out of the ring. With another and reversal by Seth Rollins with a pin, probably, perhaps, no? Yes, and a one, two, bam, a kick out at two by Anderson Wolf this time. One, two, Irish whip by Anderson Wolf. He tries to come back with a, and, oh, out of the ring, okay, okay, I can dig that. Pretty cool match for a, for a Monday Night Raw, pretty cool match. Not a paper -worthy, worthy, worthy, worthy so far. But I can dig it, you know. Okay, what we need to do right now is... Okay, good spot. Good spot. I love this. It seems like a really, you know, Monday Night Raw match. Seth Rollins versus Anderson Wolf. Two great wrestlers. You know which one is better, you know. Me. If you couldn't tell. What the fuck? He just got me out of the ring. Or out of the arena, I should say. Okay. One punch and that's it. And I'm coming back for you, my boy. Okay. I'm back. You do realize he's going to count me out. It's already six. No, Steffi. Steffi Rollins. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Don't do it. Oh, get the fuck. It's nine. Please come back. Don't be a scumbag. Oh. What a nice guy is Seth Rollins, huh? You, you are such a nice guy. I don't even want to fight you anymore. You were nice enough to come back... And don't get me counted out. And look at the health bar. It's actually a, you know, fist to fist, face to face match. No, no, no burials, none, none of that bullshit. I love that. I appreciate that. Okay, it's going to be one of the better moves of Seth Rollins that I probably don't know the name of, or just a fucking superplex. Who knows? And oh, superplex with a another move that I I know the name, but I'm not gonna tell you. I know it. Definitely. Okay, now it's going to be springboard. No, oh shit. Oh man, I know what's coming next. It's that fucking neat that looks delicious. Oh, and reversal by Anderson Wolf coming with a BAM! What a bulldog. Looks that he is tired. Both of the opponents put their best in this match. Look at the sweat. No tears, but a lot of sweat. And no blood, but sweat? Definitely here. <laughs> Irish whip with a comeback to an oh neat of the guts and you know the power of the knee of Anderson Wolf. That knee, that knee can break bones and that knee can destroy a lot of shit. And now it's Anderson Wolf reversed by Seth Rollins with a suplex city the bitch. <laughs> one. Oh and a kick out at one by Anderson Wolf. <laughs> so close, so close. I think the rivalry with me and Cesaro ended, right? Like, we had a cool rivalry. One match, pay-per-view, I just buried him. Vince McMahon actually told me to bury Cesaro. He was like, I want this uh, match to end in a very quick fashion. Uh, if WWE Universe is not behind us, uh, uh, Cesaro. Uh, they're all about that wolf and then the wolfy dickens and shit. Okay, I'm getting uh, too out of hand. It's getting out of my hands. I'm sorry. Okay, Anderson Wolf. Look at how tired he is. And he's going to try to do that move, but it couldn't work. Both of both of us actually have uh, we have uh, signatures. And I may just tap out. I am going to tap out, right? I am going to tap out. And I tapped. Okay, and there's <laughs> both tapped. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I'm not really mad about it. I'm not mad at all. Seth Rollins is a huge star. I'm a newcomer, it was a good match, I look like a star, and it's realistic. What I like about games is realism. And this career mode is pretty realistic, it's not like I'm beating Braun Strowman in like 5 fucking, fucking minutes. I like to lose as long as I can, because sometimes you cannot lose in this one. But uh, I like it. It, it, it plays well to the storyline and shit. And Roman Reigns actually defeated Big 
guess, but that's not fucking all. Look, look who's here. Seth Rollins' buddy. And BAM! Here you go. Here you go for defeating me, Seth Rollins. I'm gonna beat up your buddy. But that's not uh, what I'm actually doing this. It's not the reason at all. I'm doing this because I'm tired of my position. I wanna beat the dog, the, the big dog of the WWE to become the man. There's no place for Roman Reigns anymore. It's time for someone better. It's time for greatness. And you're going to see the knee of greatness right about now. BAM! I should probably not call it like that, right? <laughs> knee of greatness. And he's beating my ass right now, which is what wasn't, wasn't in the script, right? That, that wasn't in the script. And oh, what a Superman punch! He just Superman punched me. Seems like this week there is no creative direction again. Nobody gives a crap about Anderson Wolf. And this is Samoa Joe. You know Samoa Joe and my relationship. I was his bitch back in the day, a few weeks ago, and they kind of forgot about me. Can't I interfere in this one? I cannot. I'm just being annoying. Okay, okay, I cannot. I think there are. If you unlock some uh, level of authority dude or fan favorite, I don't know, you can interfere other interviews, which is fucking cool, right? This is the coolest thing ever. Anyway, do you have anything for me, Todd Merlin? Oh, man. Still not. Still nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. How could you just not appreciate the talent of Anderson Wolf? I'm facing... Anderson. Anderson is facing Anderson. A, 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 a funny joke, Vince McMahon, I guess. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Anderson versus Anderson. Ha ha ha. Fuck yeah. It's time for Anderson Wolf versus Carl Anderson. How do you pronounce that? Like, what's the difference between Anderson and Anderson? I think you pronounce it Anderson both, right? I, I don't quite remember. Uh, if you don't know, I'm not from America or England, so excuse me. A little bit <laughs> anyway it's time to make this guy suffer because we lost a lot of matches we need to make this a squash match we just must make this into a squash match because that's the only way we can look credible again and we may not because this guy is not as weak as I thought after all his overall is 84 just like Dolph Ziggler's so it's not that low it's not that low Carl Anderson that bald guy He's a strong ass dude. Also looks pretty good in this game. I love the fact that he looks really, 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 really good. And reversal by Anderson Wolf. He needs a one punch, punch, punch. Get the fuck out of my ring and let's down a bit. Let's show off to show what we are all about. And now it's Irish Whip. And it, okay, what? What's our move? Uh, just a fucking suplex. Really? That's fucking lame. Okay, it works for me though. We also have a dirty pin uh, attribute, ability, whatever, uh, which is pretty cool, I love that. As a heal, it will be used a lot. Oh, I think we used it against Zack Ryder or some shit. Yes, Zack Ryder. We used it against Zack Ryder out of all the people. We couldn't use it against their Seth Rollins, but we used it, used it against uh, Zack Ryder, you know. A guy who was supposed to just job to us. Either way, you are here also just to job to me. Vince McMahon is orders, if you don't know. Okay, reversal by Anderson Wolf works for me. Let's down a bit. Let's down a bit. Let's make that bar a little bit faster. We need that signature. It's so slow, really. It's so slow for a created superstar who is, you know, overall 59 or some shit. It's really, really slow, but oh, what a pump up knee. One of my favorites as well. I have a pretty good moveset. I don't care what you say. I have a pretty cool moveset. Comes back with a... Wow. <laughs> I just... Wow. But the great Anderson Wolf's frustration wasn't just that. Just a simple match against Carl Anderson. He, he couldn't do it. And it was probably time to rethink his future with the WWE or wrestling in general. Maybe it was time just to leave the WWE right now. Will Anderson Wolf show up at next Monday Night Raw? 
And now Darren Young is making his way into the ring, a guy who is actually supposed to face Anderson Wolf, but what we don't know is whether Anderson Wolf is going to show up or not, but because it seemed like it could have been the last that we saw from Anderson Wolf. We don't know whether he's on Raw or he's not on Raw. We, we have, we don't know any of that shit. <laughs> And it seems like Anderson Wolf is actually coming through the crowd. And it's one of his signature moves right away to Darren Young with a ass famouser or some shit. <laughs> okay, he is back in the WWE and with a cheap shot. With a cheap shot, decided to start this match and bam, knee to the face. Wolf knee. And is that going to be in one, two, three? Just like that, Anderson Wolf is here, back into the WWE, never left. It seems like he doesn't give a shit with that outfit. I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't know how to explain. But I think the lesson right here, you gotta work more smart instead of hard. <laughs> Roman Reigns just defeated Big Cass. And I do smell that everything is about to change because the same shit that happened is happening again. But only this time the payoff is going to be much 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 different because it's time for Anderson Wolf to shine and I believe that he's going to take it because <clears throat> every bad thing that happened to me in the last couple of weeks is now happening again but with a little bit different result I'm kicking their butts and you can pretty much see that BAM he is back indeed so in the last couple of weeks, Anderson Wolf was beaten by Seth Rollins, Carl Anderson, and when she tried to interfere into Roman Reigns' match, he got his ass whipped. This week, he, he decided to stay with the WWE, he decided to play smart, he beaten Darren Young in a few seconds, and he also whipped the shit <laughs> out of Roman Reigns. And he is here, and look at that corporate asshole. If I, if I, could, say any, if I could say anything bad to him, I would flip him out. I would seriously do it. Okay, and he is back. He decided to stay. That outfit is probably going to be changed. Do you guys enjoy that little storyline where he was just at his lowest and he tries to climb back? I think it was pretty good. I think this episode turned out to be pretty well. And as he is walking to his car, the answer that you guys want to know is whether the career mode is over or the career is going to continue. And the simple answer would be, it is going to continue. This is not the last episode because I've seen a lot of people on Twitter, on in the comments below, even right now I think there will, there will be a lot of same comments saying that please continue it, it it's good, we enjoy it. Finally your channel has some uh, consistency. I love making these episodes and if you guys seriously enjoy that, uh, it means a lot to me. So I'm going to continue it. And I don't know if there's going to be this, whether I, I make it to 20 episodes or some shit. I think we're going to do it as long as you guys enjoy it. So if I will see a lot of negativity and shit, I will end the series. But as long as you guys enjoy it, it's going to be up on my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about the storyline. What do you think about me continuing the series? The Great One. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.